I love this concept about opening your eyes. The eyes really brings all the messages to our brain and the more you keep them open, the more you grow. When we say open your eyes, it means that curiosity. You're looking for something constantly. It's like your food, you know, it's your hairdressing food. The section of water drops, it brings to the concept of color pops. When I say color pops, I like to have a color hidden in the hair and by just tying the hair into a ponytail to have these little loops that you just pull out and the color just literally pops out, you know, like a water drop. We have used two colors from the Illumin range. It's kind of between the blue and the green family mixed together. And I like because it gets a little bit of dimension. So it's not just one color that looks flat. I love the mixture. And in this case, we're going to create one ponytail on the left and one ponytail on the right. And then we kind of rope twist them and just pull them out like this with the fingers. I don't want it to look precise. For some reason, as a human being, we always love to have something that is unfinished. It gives the hope that there is time and there is space for growth. I like the idea of changing. I don't like monotony. As a human being, I would like to always stay in movement and working around the world in different locations. This is what it's all about, doing hair everywhere. So on the texture, the lux, for me, is one of the most beautiful textures created ever because it makes just the hair gravitate towards the sky. And I love that. The technique, is very simple. We just pin set the root and then we just create this almost like a little spongy texture. It really gives you a lot of control, padding, and it makes the rest of the hair stand up. The reason I wanted to color the ends black is because I wanted to create this more like punk effect. Almost like if you're left in the desert and the kind of the hair bend off a little bit. All the dark part, we can use the irons and a little bit of spray and then just we iron it until it gets very, very, very flat and straight. So that will we create this the kind of this a spike effect, almost like sea urchins, almost like dandelions. I know that this looks very different, but if we don't do stuff like this, our craft, it will start to die. And I'm always trying to preserve the art of hair.
when I cut hair, I'm very, very fussy. I don't like to be disturbed. I don't like to be talked. I just want to really focus. When I cut hair, it's such an important and big responsibility that I always try and give 100% actually. <laughs> So this is what I call a new trend. We have seen mullets, wolf cuts. Personally, not my favorite haircut, but I think it looks always cool when I look at someone that is daring to have it done. But because who I am and what I love, I tried to create a mullet that could fit most people and that maybe could be set as a new trend. And this is my proposal as a trend, is the gla mullet. So it's more glamorous with the same kind of concept, short and long, but distributing the volumes and the texture you can see here. We tongue in the hair and we're using these beautiful large hot tongs and what we do, we clip it, let it cool down and then start working with it. The color here, we just went and really used the light dimension and we made it super, super bright. And I love that. It just looks like it's glowing, you know. With Goldwell colors, there's nothing that I can't do to hair. So this technique is something that actually created it in 2006. I won British Air of the Year with this technique and I've never shared it before. So I'm really, really excited to show you. We're using some little grips and you create this base. Then you can attach wigs or hair pieces. We're creating what I call a flat wig. Why is flat? Because it looks almost like a mat. So you can see that there is like a soft part. And this soft part, what it's gonna do, is gonna allow the little hook that I can use to pull the hair through each little holes of the net. And this net is very important because that is your pattern. Then it has these four strings, almost like a little headscarf, but it's not triangular, it's like rectangular. And we call this look androgenous because this is finished now, but this is not finished because we're going for something that is kind of androgenous and the whole idea of androgenous is to actually create something that is a bit more genius than just having a wig. In this case, we have this big piece of hair made so it's a bit like a, a big cloud now. And this will lie right there on the neck, almost like an ornament. So it can be like a bag, you can take it off, you can fix it on. I love having fun with her. I hope you do too.
Michael. Thank you for having me. And uh, yeah, it's really a pleasure to be here. I haven't been here for a long time, so hi. This is done really quick. It's very, very simple. Um, so what we're going to do is... Gonna, sometimes you forget, you know, but this way. So super simple. It's really funny because you have, like, in this planet, we have, like, architects, you know, we have uh, uh, all sorts of, like, designers, watch people that make watches shoemakers you know and I think lots of these uh, people in general hi there they are very uh, I don't know evaluated and sometimes I feel like they don't evaluate what we do don't you think hairdressing for me should be super evaluated because it's such an important craft I think we are so, um, how can I say, so incredibly talented in what we do and the training that you guys do, uh, what we, you know, in general, what do we do is just very, very special, I think, but it's not celebrated as much. So we need to push that, guys. <laughs> do you agree? I think so, no? For me, this is what it's all about, really. It's about trying to always celebrate, you know, and do what we do, but in the best possible way, really. So, I don't know, I've been trying all my life. <laughs> but I keep trying. <laughs> so. so, this is step one. And then what we do is really, really simple. I just want to s just say a few words. So, at least, you know, I came all the way and... So what we've done here, we just put a little bit of color and we're just going to brush the hair really before we close or we do anything. I love to see hair that moves. I like movement. I like uh, hair that floats. For me, when you do hair that is too stiff in general, you just feel like they're very, how can I say, um, almost you're sending them to prison. So for me, it's all about, you know, just really giving that freedom to the hair in general, you know? So just a little bit of movement and we're gonna just put a few pins now. One. Shouldn't take you too long to do this, really. But do you like the idea of like headscarf instead of wigs? You know, like almost, it's almost like a kind, it's not really a wig, is it? It's like um, something different. And it's so simple. All you need to do is you tell your assistant, do it. And it's fine. No? I think so, yeah. I've got gray hair, you know, that's like. <laughs> So we just brush this. We put a little bit of extensions and uh, I think it's quite a nice shape actually. We like this shape. Just back on this. See? Fabulous. I hope you like it. And thank you for having me.
the concept of open your eyes it means that you have to try to be a bit more aware of what we need to stimulate ourselves to keep doing this profession. You have that little antenna and that curiosity that is always there. It all starts with loving your profession. So if you're loving your profession, you're already three quarters of the way there.